Okay, so I'm going to uh, record how long it takes to get from home to work. And uh, I just thought this would be a neat little way to test this camera. Maybe make a little podcast. I don't know. So, uh, what all is going on? I guess um, one of the things that's going on right now is I'm getting ready to do a presentation to uh, Riding University community on internet security and identity theft. That's going to be on Wednesday night um, with Drew Procaccino and uh, a whole bunch of other fantastic technology security professionals. So that ought to be good. <coughs> then next Monday is the uh, Hillwood Manor community meeting, which um, I took over in January from Denise Hill. And uh, that is where we all get together and talk about stuff that's going on in the neighborhood. So that should be good. <coughs> Hey, I'm pretty sure this is illegal because you're not even allowed to uh, talk on a phone anymore in New Jersey. And here I am driving with a camera going. I guess if I had some sort of a hands-free setup, I could do this. But um, we're just playing right now, trying to see what this camera can do. I'm really sort of excited to see what the editing features are like. Oh, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the uh, the Flip video camera uh, at theflip.com, and um, I want to give a thank you shout out to David Pogue, who uh, turned me on to it, like so many other great ideas about technology, uh, New York Times, Circuits, and uh, he talked about how simple it was, and I'm constantly searching for uh, devices that do things simply and this so far is a fantastic example of a device that does exactly what it's supposed to be doing in a very simple way the thing that I absolutely love about it is the fact that it's got um, no moving parts I mean it's got you know buttons and a USB uh, cantilever that flips out, but it's got no internal moving parts. It's got no uh, hard drive, for example. It's it's completely solid state device as far as the hard drive is concerned. And I spent the extra whatever fifty bucks to get the model that had an hour of video as opposed to a half hour of video. And um, I personally think that's pretty important. I, I like that a lot. But I can't think of many op opportunities I'm going to have to spend more than an hour uh, talking to this video camera. And the portability of it, the fact that it fits in my pocket, the fact that it's stylish, easy to use, as a USB connector connected right to it, I can plug it into anybody's uh, Windows based or Mac based device and uh, immediately start working with this video. The fact that it makes connections to YouTube, these are all really kind of great things about this camera. So, sorry I had to do a little merge there. Um, and by the way, I'm currently at Ryder. That's how quickly my uh, commute is uh, over with. But, um, yeah, about the flip, it's a pretty cool device. does a pretty good job, I think. And, um, I mean, there's no reason 
as far as I can tell, why we wouldn't be able to use this for the podcast. We wouldn't be able to broadcast, uh, well, at least not with this device, but we wouldn't be able to, uh, to do a live broadcast, but we would be able to do um, an easy recording without using up any tapes or losing tapes or having to do transfers or anything like that. I mean, I, I guess we have to do a transfer, but I imagine it'll be a lot easier using existing digital files than trying to do something with uh, tape. I mean, I've never enjoyed working with tape very much. The real-time nature of tape is pretty ridiculous, actually. So I've been waiting for this innovation for quite a long time. I'm, I'm a little surprised it took as long as it did to, to come into existence, but now that it's here, all it needs to do is get a little smaller. <clears throat> and I'm sure that'll happen next. Um, but um, thrilled with the device so far. All right, well, I'm getting ready to uh, turn into my parking lot here, so just wanted to say thanks. <laughs>